Do you want to create posts that get higher engagement on Instagram? Of course you do. You want to create posts like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this, because these will get more engagement. They're going to get more likes, more follows, more comments, more saves, and more shares, which at the end of the day is why we're on Instagram is really promoting our businesses and getting the word out there about what we do. So if that sounds amazing, then keep watching to see how I created all of those graphics in Canva. Hello, I'm Kate Emily and I'm a marketing coach and educator and I help small businesses to attract more of their dream clients and convert them on autopilot while building their influence and positioning them as the expert. So without further ado, let's dive into Canva so I can show you how I created these engagement boosting posts. Okay, so I'm in Canva now. I've just selected Instagram posts as my template. Uh, now up here, we'll search um, I've got them all saved, um, but these are the five different posts we're going to be creating. So let's start with toggle. You might have seen these recently. I love these ones as a way of sharing tips in a really simple way because it's getting the point across in very, very few words, but it's also really fun and engaging and breaks up the feed as well. Um, so the post that I wanted to create for a toggle was around your email marketing strategy. So this one's a little bit of a push for my course. So I'm going to talk, um, I'm going to have attract your ideal client, build your influence and convert clients on autopilot. So I need three different ones. So let's have a look at this one. Um, this might work well because I mean, it's in my colors. It looks quite good. Um, yeah, I really like that. I'll change the font and I'll change these obviously. One thing I noticed a few of them have, I'll show you what I mean, is you can have it so there's some pointing, like toggling against what it is saying. So what you just do with that is you just go like this and then you go flip horizontal and it'll flip it the other way. So if you are wanting to have some toggled off, so say if it's something that you're wanting to say is not what you should start your weekend in, what we like compare yourself to others. That's just how you toggle it off, which is really easy to do as well. Um, but there's lots of different designs in here, uh, depending on what you're after. All right, I'll quickly add in all my content, change the colors, change the fonts, all that stuff. So I'm just going through and changing all the colors. I've added my content and I've, oops, I've changed the fonts. I'm just changing the colors to my brand colors um, and change these to my colors. I think they might be very close to my colors. So we'll just change them. Make sure they are consistent. That's probably one of the big things when you are creating um, posts off a template is to make sure it's consistent with your other content. So you don't want to then have a post that has completely different fonts to completely different colors to what you normally have. Um, take inspiration, but then use this as a way of, um, yeah, making it work to you. So with this particular post, it, my content that I had in here didn't quite fit. So I just clicked on the white box and I made it bigger. So let's go back and make it the same size. Um, so you can do all that sort of stuff, which is really fun. I might just double check this is in the middle. There we go. Yeah, cute. Great graphic, okay. All right, next up, um, a Google search. So this one I've seen a bit lately. I think it's a really nice way to position whatever it is that you do as a expert and use it as a way of showing that you un completely understand your ideal client and what they're going through. So I, um, yeah, got, yeah, let's go with this one. All right, so the content I want to share is around success. So I want to talk, use this post as a way of talking about how success isn't measured by money, blah, blah, blah. So it's more of sort of a value post. It's one to show what my values are, I guess. So I'm going to add all my content in here. So what I've done here is I've made sure that the copy is the font that I use and the color that I use. 
and I'm just copying and pasting it down so then I don't have to re you know change all the fonts individually I it's just already input there saves a little bit of time speaking of <laughs> Okay, so a little problem with this one that I've just found is this particular template, it's very curved. And when I try and just make this smaller, it doesn't quite work. So I might just have to add some extra options. All right, so I've added those in and I might just change this photo because it's not quite my brand colors. Um, I might actually just make it something simple like a brand color, like my pink. Maybe let's see if they've got a photo that's like a pink beach. Yeah, that's mm, a little more aligned with my colors. I might change that later. All right, we'll add another page. Okay, so the next one is a tweet. So you've probably seen these before. I Before I knew that this was actually a template in, in Canva, I created this myself, which is a lot of work. So this is a lot easier to do. How about we go something like this one? I've got my text ready to go. So actually I want one that has a bit more room for me to write. All right, here's one that works a little bit better for me for this particular quote um, that I want to share. Um, it's a piece of content that I wanted to add in. I'll change this to my details. This is by far the easiest one to design because you just need a little bit of content into this little square. So you just pull it in. I might make it a bit more on my face. Like that. Perfect. And then I can just change the color to my brown color and then put that in the middle. In the middle, ah. delete some of these spaces down the bottom. Oops. Yeah, cool. So there we go. So got that one, that one. Maybe I'll make it actually a lighter pink. You know what I could even do is I could even just add these in because these are part of a different one and change the background. You can almost use it as your own little like branding, which is cool. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Great. I actually really like this one. I think it has nice um, contrast to the others, which is good, but then the other two have a bit of consistency. so. I think we're doing good. All right. Cool. And then next one. So we've got three posts. Next one I wanted to do was um, you could call it an infographic, but specifically I wanted to show you how to use a funnel. So while I'm talking about it in the sense of a funnel for marketing, so a sales funnel, basically. Um, you can use it for a lot of different things, depending on what your business does. It could be different steps of a process with you. It could be, um, you know, this is a nice one, self-care checklist. So talking about different things that are really important um, to help you with your self-care. Just a nice way, a different way to share content or share particular specific points with your ideal client. But let's do this one. Um, all right, yeah, funnel to reduce anxiety. You got it right there. All right, so I want this to be called, okay, so I'm just gonna call this my funnel. I may change this later. Oh, I'm gonna keep it much straight light. And I might make it actually pink. Because the whole point of this one is to show people that a sales funnel isn't something that needs to be complicated. It's something that's really simple. Um, it's 
say we want to say attract ideal client. That's the first step of the funnel. It's um, classic. To me, this this text is way, way too small. Um, right, so we'll do that. So I'm gonna make it like 24. Yeah, I'll make it 24 and then I'll pull this out. And delete and delete. Oh, I may have been to fit that bottom one. Let's see, I might make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to keep it one word, so we'll just go the trapped, nurture, and then convert. Alright, I see why they made this so small, because oh, it just fits, look at that! Alright, how about we make a tiny bit bigger? And then we'll go in the middle, and pull these in the middle. And what I always like to do is to make sure that everything sits in the middle. Highlight it all and make sure it's in the middle. Cool, great. What do you reckon? Does it look a bit wonky? I'm not sure. All right, we'll change this to my pink. All right, this one's like the tweet. It's super easy to set up. So um, we could just do, is that a copy? Whoops. So add page, um, this little reminder bell, yeah, like that, or like that on the page. Oh, I like that, I like how it's got two, um, two options, cool. So my reminder is about consistency, so consistency it looks different to everyone. I'll change that to my font. You're getting the gist. It's just basically the letter spacing is a little bit off on this one. Um, all right, so I'm going to go that. I'll change that to my pink. Very classic. Yep, love it. And change that to pink. I really like this picture, but it's not quite my colors. So let's see if we can find something else. Let's see what's in my magic recommendations. All right, so what about a pink? So beach maybe. What I might do is just change the settings of this image. So we can just go into edit settings edit image rather and then let's see what the filters do to it oh that's a bit better we're getting there you could obviously add images that you've taken if they're more relevant that actually looks pretty good I might just make it a little bit less bright make it, make it a little bit more bright mm. might do the same with this picture too I'll add that same filter so we did the Nordic filter ah yeah that's good so then it's all a bit more matching. Yeah, cool. So we'll just zoom out and see what they all look like next to each other. So we've got that consistency here. We've got some, some pinks and blues and we've got our bold pink colors. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Obviously you can have a play with this. You can do whatever you like. 
I hope you loved this video. It was a really easy, simple one for you. And it's gonna help you to create some engaging posts for your Instagram feed. But if you want some more ideas on how to create high engagement posts, then go and check out my video, which shares a tutorial on how to create an animation. So this is almost like a little mini video inside your Instagram feed. So go and watch that one now. I hope you love this video and love coming on a content creation journey with me. This is actually content I'm going to be posting to my feed. So you'll be able to see it if you're following me on Instagram. And yeah, I will be back here next time with another video all about digital marketing and strategy and how to attract those dream clients and convert them on autopilot. So I hope you love this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you here next time with another video I know you're going to love. So until then, bye for now.